On Thursday, August 3rd, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet begins construction on the new Kentucky 680 corridor. During this time, there will be a scheduled detour onto Kentucky 979 for the next four to five weeks as paving operations will be ongoing. Once the corridor is complete, travel time between Minnie and Harold will be cut down significantly. We are working on Kentucky 680, the Mini to Harold uh, corridor, and we've been working on that for quite some time. It's been one of our larger projects here in the district. Um, right now, we are on our final paving operations, so those are taking place right now. Uh, you'll see that there's a traffic alert out for a detour. Traffic is going to detour off of a 680 onto the old 979, and they'll come out around Branham's Creek. So we've got that. In in place just so that we make sure that we keep motorists and everyone out of the work zone while we are doing these operations and these final touches and things. So, um, so the Kentucky 680 corridor is currently what we're working on. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. The corridor is an active work zone and all safety precautions have been addressed to ensure no motorists or construction workers are harmed in the process. For the time being, the Transportation Cabinet asks all motorists to continue traveling their usual route. You'll see equipment entering and exiting. Um, You'll see some a presence of some of our workers and things, but it is not open to the public. And so we want to remind people to continue to travel their regular routes um, or in, in addition to this detour that we have um, in place, but not to travel in our work zone because that's when things like that happens, it um, really, um, puts a damper on how much work we can get finished if we're stopping for motorists and things. Uh, it puts safety of our drivers, our, our crew, our workers, everyone um, in danger uh, as well. When you're traveling on a road that hasn't been opened yet, the lineage isn't there, uh, guardrail and things, so it, it is really dangerous. So we are partnering with KSP and they are on patrol out there helping us maintain that road closure. Um, so we just want to make sure that people stay safe and to continue uh, to not travel in our work zones. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.